Is the Kindle stock showing as unavailable to you? Well, I'll help you with the possible reasons for such a dilemma and how you can get around this. So, welcome to Bling Bling, let's get started. If you're using an older gen Kindle device, then chances are that Amazon has already dropped support for your device. This unfortunately includes the Kindle store access as well. So you're pretty much forced to sideload the books that you want to read on your Kindle device. As of making this video, only Kindle devices Gen 5 or higher is officially supported by Amazon. So if your device is not on Amazon's support list, then I'm sorry to say that your issues with the Kindle store will still persist. But on the bright side, I assure you that I won't be excluding you from my list for exposing you to the world of smart home content as long as you click on the subscribe button. Now, this might seem like a very obvious step, but it might surprise you at just how many times that I have forgotten to turn off airplane mode on my Kindle when accessing the Kindle store. It is common practice for us Kindle users after all to keep our devices in airplane mode to extend our weeks long battery even further. So if you still have your airplane mode turned on, do make sure to toggle it off by swiping down on the Kindle from the top of the screen to access the quick setting tiles and toggle the airplane icon off. Now that you've toggled your airplane mode off, it's time to check whether you can connect to your Wi-Fi network. Kindle devices can be a little bit finicky when it comes to connecting to your nearby Wi-Fi networks. So, if you're facing issues automatically connecting your Wi-Fi to your Kindle device, you can manually connect to your network by first swiping down on the Kindle screen to open the quick settings tiles and tapping on the settings icon. Then tap on wireless and select Wi-Fi networks to select and pair with your home Wi-Fi. Now that we have ensured that we have covered all the basics regarding the functioning of the Kindle store on your Kindle device, let's proceed to rebooting your Kindle device once. A reboot can help in cleaning out any temporary bugs that might have been restricting your device's access to the Kindle stores, essentially refreshing the system. You can reboot the device by long pressing the power button till the power menu pops up. An alternative method is by going into the settings of a Kindle, then tap on restart to initiate the reboot process. If the steps that I've mentioned so far have unfortunately not helped you in overturning your situation with your Kindle store, then you might have to perform a factory reset on your Kindle. Resetting your device to its factory defaults will wipe out all your data within your Kindle, so make sure to take a backup of all necessary files, especially the on-device files that you have sideloaded to your Kindle. The books that you have previously purchased from your Kindle store should be safe in the Kindle cloud, so logging in back with the same Amazon account after your factory reset should let you gain access to those books. To perform a factory reset on your Kindle, go to the settings page and tap on device options. Right below the restart button, you should find the reset button. Tap on it and confirm your decision to begin the reset process. And that's pretty much all you need to know in order to understand the reasoning behind your Kindle store not being available and the possible fixes that you can implement in order to fix the issue. If you have further queries, do comment down below and check out our website blingbling.com for a more comprehensive read on the topic. I have made sure to link it in the description below. If you like this video, go give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more smart home content.